TV2 with Nicholas Kubapur. Alexis Pickle. Sibby Lingerak. Landon Little. Jasper Jones. Good morning, Logan High School. Thanks for tuning into our show. I'm Nicholas Gulapur. And I'm Lexis Fickle. Well, it is now December. And believe it or not, the end of 2016 is approaching fast. But don't get too sentimental, because we still have a whole month left. Today on the show, we have weather with Sydney Lingrak, and then sports with Jasper Jones and Landon Little. But first, here are your announcements. The LHS Kick Cancer Club is currently making Christmas sunshine boxes for our friends in the community with cancer. If you know someone who would appreciate a sunshine box, then contact Mrs. Wendy Cook at wcook at lhsd.k12.oh.us. The boxes will either be delivered in person or mail if needed. The National Honor Society induction ceremony will be held on Monday, December 5th at 6 p.m. in the LHS Theater. NHS students will be practicing for the ceremony during second period on December 2nd. If you have any spare stuffed animals that you'd be willing to donate, then now is the time. Mr. Hughes is currently taking donations of stuffed animals to present to kids in the ER and urgent care at Hawking Valley Community Hospital and Children's Hospital over the holiday season. Mr. Hughes' room number is 118, where you can donate your stuffed little friends. Last chance to sign up for the December AAA driving class will be on December 5th. The class also begins on that day at 5 p.m. Flyers are available in the office. In national news, NASA has unveiled its latest nearly finished astounding project the successor to the Hubble Telescope. With the help of an $8.7 billion budget and 20 years of building and researching, the Webb Space Telescope is set to be launched in October 2018. It will be, it will send, it will be, it will be sent 1 million miles from Earth. The new telescope, which is named after NASA Administrator James Webb, leader of the space agency in the 60s, is reportedly seven times larger than Hubble in terms of light gathering ability, and it is designed to see farther in space and reveal more information about the past of our universe. We'll have to wait and see what possible discoveries can be made with this amazing new piece of science. In local news, an Ohio State University student posted a rant on Facebook before plowing his car into a group of students and stabbing people with a butcher knife. The ambush ended when, with the Ohio State Police Officer Alan Horushko shooting the attacker. Abdul Razik Ali Artan took to Facebook minutes before his attack, making references to reaching his boiling point from seeing fellow Muslims being attacked. Artan's attack placed 11 people in the hospital, but all are expected to make a full recovery. ISIS recently took claim to the attack but there is an ongoing investigation as Artan made references to Lona Wolf tax before his own. Nicholas, if you could be anybody else, who would it be? I would definitely be Obi-Wan Kenobi. Who would you be? I know you guys always want to be like me, but out of all the 8 billion people on the planet, here at TV2 we want to know who you would be if you could be someone else. Well. Here I am again, back on TV2. Um, so they asked me if I could be anybody in the world, who would I be? So like on the last episode of TV2, um, I told them I was very thankful for nachos. So having a hard time with like picking a person that I would be. So I'm gonna make a person up. So if I were a superhero, I'd wanna fly. So I would wanna be somebody who flies. And then also like, like I said, I love nachos, so like 
somebody who could fly and also eat all the nachos possible um, without getting sick or weighing 500 pounds. So um, I wanna fly and eat all the nachos because nachos are good. If I could be anyone other than myself, I'd be a white tiger because they get to run through the wilderness with no consequences. Other than myself, I want to be a Yeti. That's why I'm growing a beard. If I could be anybody else in this world that I wanted to be, I would have to say Fidel Castro. Because I love Cuba. If I could be anybody in the world that I'd like to be, I would like to be Kelly Gallup. Kelly is a world-class fly tire. He owns a fly shop on the Madison River in Montana, and pretty much he's living my dream life. If I could be anybody in the world, I would be Cristiano Ronaldo, because then I could buy myself all the cars I wanted and still be good at soccer. If I could be anybody in the world, I would probably be Ariana Grande, just because she is hot and I just want to make a lot of money. Sadly, you guys can't be any of those people, but keep your hopes up. Wyatt Ellinger, TV2 News. Here's Sydney Lingrack with your Chieftain Weather. There's a storm brewing. Right there! Why hello there LHS. Welcome to the Chieftain Weather Report. December has struck, so let's take a look at the upcoming forecast in our neck of the woods. Today is December 2nd, and it will be dark and cloudy. The high will be 43, and the low will be 27. Brr. The record high of today is 70, set back in 1982, and the low is 7, set back in 1942. Let's take a look at the rest of the five-day forecast. Saturday, it will be another cloudy day, with a high of 44 and a low of 29, and once again, very chilly. On Sunday, the high will be 42, and the low will be 34, with scattered showers. Monday calls for a.m. rain showers with a high of 44 and a low of 31. And lastly, on Tuesday, the high will be 50 and the low will be 37 with showers throughout the day. That's all I have for today, Logan High School. Have a fantastic weekend. And remember, keep warm. Sydney Lingrack, TV2 Weather. Now here's a PSA about the dangers of texting. Here's Jasper Jones and Landon Little with your Chieftain Sports. And we're back. Let's not waste any time. Let's get straight to it. Both Chieftain bowling teams fought against the Wellston Golden Rockets Wednesday at beautiful scenic lanes here in Logan. It was a good night for both teams. The boys beat the Rockets 1788 pins to 1480. The varsity girls also won with a score of 1733 for Logan and 1475 for the Rockets. Good luck to both teams against the new Lexington Panthers tonight. The Lady Chiefs basketball team started the season off strong with a thrilling victory over Granville, 56-55 last Friday. They played Lancaster Tuesday night in Jim Myers Gymnasium, and they looked to stay hot and come out ready to play, and they did just that. With on the first possession of the game, sophomore Haley Sammons gets the pass from teammate Paige Lunsford and drills a three-pointer right over the defender to get the Chiefs on the board first. The Chiefs would keep moving the ball, and they would keep getting more open looks, but that wasn't the case for senior Paige Lunsford, who got the ball and spun right past her defender on her way for the easy layup. The Chiefs would sadly lose this game close with a score of 39 to 36. Haley Sammons led the team with 16 points, Paige Lunsford added 10 more points, and Rachel Pierce racked up seven rebounds. The Chiefs looked to 
bounce back tomorrow at home against Unioto. The game starts at 6, and the boys' team also plays at 7.30, so come out and support both teams. Well, that's all we've got for you this week. See you next week, Chief Nation. That's all we have for today, Chief Nation. Thanks again for tuning into our show. If you're not doing anything tomorrow at 2 p.m., then feel free to head downtown and enjoy the annual Logan Christmas Parade. It's that time of year to start getting some holiday cheer. I'm Nicholas Kudlapur. And I'm Lexis Fickle. From TV2, The, the Deuce. Deuce. Rock. I'm gonna throw, throw, throw another rock. And I got you. Can't even throw a paper. No. Ready? <laughs> no, he's eating something. They're probably they're uneven. You move this one a little bit. Come out ready. Came out. Now you messed me up because I can't do it because you messed me up last three times. I messed. That's all.